Welcome back to the channel everyone. On today's adventure we're back in the Peruvian Amazon exploring on my October 2021 trip. We had nine days of epic adventure in the jungle but on today's video we're going to be showing you the first of two Bushmasters encountered on this trip. I've been lucky enough to encounter two other Bushmasters on previous trips so I definitely recommend you check out those videos already up on the channel. So the idea here is we hike about 10 miles a day on average, mainly at night, shining around in the bushes for wildlife. Here we have a common species encountered, the wandering spider, also called the banana spider, a highly venomous spider species. You can kind of see the warning coloration underneath the legs right there. So we'll do this threat display and wave the legs. But uh, these are the ones that are famous for being highly venomous, uh, occasionally killing a person, they're very large, they're very fast, and the bite can give a man a horrible, hours-long, painful erection. So, don't touch. They're still cool looking though. Oof, they moved. It gives an idea of the size. And remember guys, I'm six foot five and I have Pretty darn big hand, so that is a very big spider right there. They're no joke. So right now it flattened out and it's in more of a kind of a hiding kind of pose right now, so it's hoping to not be noticed. We'll go ahead and leave him alone though. Our next encounter is a lot more exciting. The dwarf came in. Alright. We're gonna get this thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want me to get on the other side, Chris? I'm ready to stop it or something? No. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the food from the thing. Look at that! <laughs> Good job, huh? Good spot, George. Dude, look at that thing. Let's get him out in the open, huh? Got the spike. Look at that, huh? Beautiful dwarf caiman. Man, these guys are so cool. Look at the scutes on him. So call him, uh, the genus is Paleosuchus, so like ancient crocodile they just look like a dinosaur and like the nuclear scutes especially where my hand is right now super hard super spiky check out that tail this is such a cool species man that's so awesome so excited oh my god we've walked this trail i don't know how many times and uh, maybe maybe it was just like all the rain that we just had and uh got this guy washed out maybe i guess but man they are so cool we've gone past the same spot so many times and uh, he must have just moved into that area they're they're lightning quick though so i have a really good grip on them um it's being very calm right now but they're they're so fast when they want to be and they just snap real quick and grab on you and then just shake like a like a pit bull you know it's crazy how fast they shake like so cool i definitely got to get my um my little underwater camera set up and try to get some shots of him you know that would be really cool we definitely got to try to do that this is this is the coolest thing we found so far in the trip look at that huh i don't know what do you guys think awesome pretty cool <laughs> yeah. what do you think sophia very cool very cool george very ecstatic yeah Look at its eyes. Yeah. He's looking at us. Man, it's like holding the... I mean, it's like holding spines. I mean, the, the scutes, especially those tail scutes on him. And at the neck. Yeah, but they're they're so fast. Like they're, They really are. They're like lightning when they actually go to bite. So you definitely got to be careful. Even though it's a really small crocodilian, like you got to be really careful with these guys because when they do snap, it's really fast. Feel the tail. 
See how sharp that is. What do you think? Softer than what I thought. Yeah, but like go this way. Like feel how. So they're hydrodynamic. So they're very smooth one direction. And you go the opposite direction. And I mean, those will See literally cut you yeah. with if there's force behind it. And up here. Wow. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. So different than an alligator? Way Video different. Time. Actually, oh, there's a leaf that around bud lately. There's actually enough of, um, almost like growth, growth rings on the osteoderms there. Oh. You see that? Yeah, I do. Maybe because there's such a stark, wet, and dry season? Might actually be. Rings? Yeah, so on most crocodilians, there's no way to know the age, like at all. Um, if they're in an area where they can eat year round, it's impossible to determine the age, like completely impossible. But if they're in an area where there is a pronounced feeding and non feeding seasonality to it, then they can develop growth rings. Like in Florida alligators, it is absolutely impossible to know the age of one that you caught out of the wild. But in the ones in the Carolinas, where it's that it literally freezes over part of the year, they don't get to eat at all, then there will be pronounced growth rings. And so that's kind of what it looks like right here with this one, because maybe in the dry season, it gets so dry, he has to go into estivation or something like that and doesn't feed at all, and that would explain that. But I'm gonna have to definitely do some research on that since I'm not that familiar with this species. So talking about dangers of the jungle, Look at the spines on this tree. So this is one of the palm trees out here, and they have these absolutely massive spines. And uh, man, can you just imagine running through the forest and like you trip and fall into this thing? I mean, these spines are bigger than my hand. If I can very carefully insert that, you can see how big they are. And then this is one of the palm fronds from this spine palm that fell down. Can you imagine that thing cracking off and just swinging down into you? And I mean, it's it's big. This thing has got to weigh like 60 pounds at least. And have that thing just 60 pounds of spines just whoop, bop, like I mean, it could literally kill you. And these are extremely sharp and they're brittle. They snap off very easily. So if it does go into you and then it just breaks right off and embeds into you. So that'll be stuck in your flesh and cause a really bad infection. I mean, play the size of that. And so uh, the natives would use these for the for the blowgun darts, you know, and they're they're just wicked sharp too. I mean, you can just go and put them and you just boop, just stick it right into the other tree. <laughs> so these things are uh, definitely a hazard out here. So you can see the spines, and I put my light on it like that. And I have had the misfortune of uh, tripping one time and grabbing hold of a small one. And uh, I went and tripped and I just grabbed the tree next to me. And thankfully it was not one of these things. It was a much smaller version of it, but still just all through my hand spines. And uh, another time I went to grab a turtle and it was one of these palm fronds. Again, thankfully much smaller. And I went to grab the turtle and got the spines all across the top of my hand. So this is one of the big hazards of the jungle out here. And the uh, biggest causer of misfortune and pain, <laughs> okay? Because the snakes, I mean, they, uh, they usually try to get away from you, and don't get me wrong, you know, if you step on, like, a Bushmaster, you're going to have a very bad day. But this is the thing that gets more people by far, because they're just everywhere, the ubiquitous out here, and uh, just, ugh, definitely not something you want to, you want to be a tree hugger out here, okay? <laughs> and there's quite a few different species of them, too. Yeah, no touchy. Alright, guys, we just came up on a Bushmaster right in the middle of the trail and it's just it's me skylar and Kristoff, and Woo! everybody's <laughs> very excited and they say huge one yeah it's a good size huh mm -hmm. like two meters at least <coughs> look at that oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh we're all 
so excited. Look at that. It's our second to last night too, guys. And we were very sad. We didn't think we were going to find one. And here we go, right in the middle of the trail. So we're just hanging out with it right now, trying to get some photos and just enjoy the moment. What an amazing looking snake and just literally coiled right in the center of the trail. I mean, just so amazing. And this is my third year in a row seeing a Bushmaster at this research station. These are the largest viper species in the world and in my opinion, the pinnacle of snakes in the Western Hemisphere at least. And they are just so absolutely amazing and so gorgeous. They get much bigger than this. This is an impressive one still. This is definitely a good sized snake, but they do get even bigger. Just so amazing. We are so excited right now. I mean, you can see Skyler and Kristoff. <laughs> Look at the big grin on his face. Man, we are so stoked right now. I just cannot believe we got this guy second to last night. And uh, I mean, so far on the trip, we've had, a, we've had a really good trip. We found a lot of really cool species, but what we were missing was one big, like, heavy hitter species. And this is the heaviest of hitters, okay? <laughs> So I just could not be more excited. And then earlier this night, we got the dwarf caiman too. So we got a dwarf caiman and a bushmaster in the same night. Just, what, what, what do you guys so, think? This is just incredible. Honestly, I love, I absolutely love coming to Peru and seeing these species in the wild. It's so awesome. <laughs> and Christoph has been living in Peru for eight years. He's from Switzerland. And he's seen quite a few of these, but it never gets old, right? Yeah, it's always very amazing to see these beautiful bush monsters. And this is one of the bigger ones that I see. Yeah. It's at least two meters or more. So cool. Man, the other, so uh, Sophia and George are back at camp and um, they weren't feeling very well, unfortunately for them. <laughs> So oh, we uh, we did a hike with them earlier and we came back in at like like 9.30 at night. And uh, so they did the first half and they were like, well, we've only got tonight and one more night. So we're going to head out and do more. But they weren't feeling well. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry to you guys. <laughs> I wish you guys were here. They're back at camp, though. <laughs> As the snake sat coiled in the trail, it provided a great opportunity for photos. Once the snake decided to move off, I took this as an opportunity to try to handle this amazing, beautiful creature. I'd also like to remind everybody that I've been handling venomous snakes professionally for many years. Never try this on your own. Handling a snake like this for me is just an honor and just a dream of mine to be able to work with these animals. I love them so much. And check out what looks like smoke in the light of my headlamp. That's actually the water vapor coming off my sweating arms. This Bushmaster has been incredibly calm and very relaxed through the entire thing. And it does give me a little bit of a turn here, but nothing that's a big deal. Just do a little spin around with them and it's perfectly fine. But uh, these snakes are potentially very deadly, highly venomous. And in this kind of a situation, if I were to get bit by this animal this far out in the jungle on foot, survival rate is not looking so great. That's why you want to be very, very careful. And thankfully this snake is extremely calm, but I also know how to handle it in a way to keep it very calm and relaxed. So after handling her for a little bit, she seems to have calmed down quite a bit and is now in a really, really cool looking position at the base of this tree where you can actually see the outstretched body instead of just that tight coil. What an amazing snake. 
Oh my god. And then here's something really interesting. Look at the tail tip. It's got this little tiny spike at the end of the tail, which is uh, unique to Bushmasters. And nobody really knows exactly what that's for. So we had a great photo session with this Bushmaster. It's an incredibly calm snake, just unbelievably relaxed demeanor the entire time. It hasn't tried to strike at us once, even though this snake is incredibly deadly. If you were to get bit and you didn't get medical attention, this is no joke of a snake, but it's been so incredibly calm with us and just relaxed as can be. I mean, look, I'm, I'm right next to it. You know, um, just an incredibly calm, relaxed snake. They have such a reputation. You know, people talk about these snakes as being aggressive and like uh, the bull killer and, you know, things like this. But, I mean, look at it right now. It doesn't want to attack anybody. It's very calm, very, very relaxed animal. And, man, it's just, it's just incredible to be in the presence of such an animal and just to be in awe of it. It is so beautiful and such a powerful creature but also so reserved in its power and its ability for destruction is unparalleled among snakes out here but it's very calm it has no desire to try to bite any of us it just wants to sit out here hunt some rats and be left alone to live out its life and we had a great time with this snake and really enjoyed its company we got some great photos everybody had fun right Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And I think now we're going to go ahead and let the snake go. Um, I'll go ahead and give it a scoot and just let it go off into the bush, yeah? Alright. Let's give her a little scoot to go off into the brush right there so she's off the trail. I don't want you to leave either, but <laughs> we want you to go. Go be happy over there, okay? There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, straight to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. There you go. She's going down the trail, though. I want you to go that way. Yeah, amazing camouflage. It's so easy to walk right by this and mm -hmm. have no idea. I think he's just clawing back up. It looks like it, right? Yeah, I think right he's just clawing back up. And you'd never know. Nope, you just walk by right by her. Wow. Amazing! <laughs> Epic! What an incredible encounter this was. But keep in mind, this is only number one of two Bushmasters on this trip. So make sure you leave a comment, let us know what you thought of this, hit like, subscribe, and be ready for the next video coming out. And if this looks like something you'd like to do, send me an email and sign up and maybe we can get you on next year's adventure.